I'm in New Orleans at the New Orleans Convention Center. We're here for our first August Institute Technology Integration Institute. 57 events every hour. We invited some national speakers that would bring a global message about technology. We have 87 different schools spanning two banks of the river. 5,000 of our certified employees, which means teachers, principals, assistant principals, disciplinarians, central office people, and teacher assistants. Uh, that's the majority of the workforce in Jefferson Parish. The overall plan is to get a greater and greater percentage of our kids engaged in, in learning and making the entire learning experience fun and something that is attractive to them, something that they want to come to each and every day. Many of our teachers don't all get to see our superintendent at the same time and today, for the first time ever, she was able to address almost every employee in our school system. And this is our kicking off of the school year, a full two days of hands-on professional development uh, for our teachers and administrators. The concept that you would get every single teacher, we're talking thousands for Jefferson Parish, all to hear the same message and then to be given direct hands-on instruction with tools they immediately have access to makes perfect sense, doesn't it? This is what we call word art. This is what we use. Uh, we wanted to have a wide variety of choice for our sessions so that everyone could be attending something that was interesting personally to them. So I'll simply go here and say stack selected photos and it will take all of them and bring them together in one stack for me. And in this conference, what we wanted to do was highlight for our teachers the kinds of instruction they would need to bring back to their classrooms in order to better engage, better implement, and better employ the use of the tools we have provided. That's where you name it. Remember, that's the first thing you do. You want to name your blog. But these are teachable moments for you. You can bring this up and you can show them and you can work together through this. So this is the first time that we will have the opportunity to train all teachers in the district. Creating an engaged learner is actually um, meeting students where they are and where this generation is, is technology. Technology it is the driving force behind everything we do. Unfortunately, education has to catch up. Before this uh, conference, I've always had to do messaging or relaying the vision in smaller groups. This is the first time I saw all of them together. That's pretty phenomenal when you look out at the audience and you see how many people are involved in the education of children. You're bringing you know, the East Bank and West Bank teachers together, you're bringing schools together, you're bringing teachers in, in, in particular schools together that a lot of times don't have time to interact with one another. But when you bring the whole school together, it's like bringing the village together to get things done to make sure that the education is being done properly in the classroom. You're not going to have engaged students if you don't have an engaged faculty. And you're not going to have an engaged faculty if you don't have an engaged principal. And you're not going to have an engaged principal if you don't have an engaged superintendent. And you're not going to have an engaged superintendent if you don't have an engaged board. And so you've you got to go up and down the line. It's all, and then you've got to have the community engaged. System change can't be done without the right leader. What Jefferson has been able to do is develop a clearly articulated vision and plan, moving this transformation as rapidly as possible. I think what Jefferson Paris has that we can learn from is this visionary leadership and passionate leadership. When we heard the superintendent speak this morning, she was just truly passionate about every single student succeeding and needing a 21st century education. We are technologically advanced, and together we are transforming education for each and every student. This generation is not unmotivated to learn. They are differently motivated to learn, very differently motivated. And we need to understand how they're motivated. And the real challenge before you now is can you redesign the system and transform the system to support the tremendous gains that you've made thus far? I know you can because you've got the kind of leadership that will get you there. The question is, do we have the collective will to make it happen? When you look at a Jefferson Parish classroom today, you see digital projectors hanging from every ceiling. You see these Promethean interactive whiteboards. You see teachers with laptops. You see students using iPods. You see them using these little flip video cameras to produce things. We want them engaged with this technology. The momentum is strong in our favor. It's beginning to show in all kinds of areas, like in attendance and test scores and the drop in suspension rates and those kind of things. This parish has created the foundation for 21st century teaching, learning, and assessment. I think the tools that teachers are being given 
the technology tools that Cisco and others have assisted with are really extraordinary. So one of the key parts of Cisco is how do we partner with the community? And we felt very strongly that education is that critical lever to change the dynamics. Cisco has taught us a great deal in the Schlechte Center. They're both very, very reflective, and we have begun thinking and designing and planning about what are our desired outcomes, and it has made us a more thoughtful, reflective, collaborative school district. And what we're hearing now is lots of comments from people who have never been to any technology professional development ever, and they're saying things like, I think I can do that. They actually have the board, they got it two or three months ago, they got the projectors, they got the laptops, and they'd sit in these sessions for an hour, and within an hour they saw, this is really fairly easy to do. Uh, I'm gonna go back and take a stab at that. That's what we're looking for. That was really the purpose of this, is to get as many people on board and to show them this is not an impossible task. The conference theme is Mission Possible. And I think it's really come home to these teachers is that this truly is possible.